wait, no! Ah! Please help me. Ah! Oh! oh, the pain. Oh. Please, sir. Oh, please, sir, help. You suck. Please, no, stop. Please, no. Ah! I may need to buy a can of Raid. Hey guys, now you can follow me on Facebook. Just go to facebook.com slash ultramaximusreviews. Hello YouTube, Ultra Maximus back with another retro review, and today we're going to rewind it back all the way to 1993 with a Toy Biz Uncanny X-Men figure, it's The Brood. Now if you don't know who The Brood is, they haven't been around in the comics in a while. This was kind of Marvel's answer to Alien, I always thought when I was a kid. And uh, they're these insect alien type creatures that the X-Men fight. And there was a brood queen and it laid all the little eggs and they had to fight all these broods. So yeah, I mean, it's pretty much an alien swarm type thing. It was pretty popular in the 80s. Definitely very cool. I saw this at my local flea market for $5 and I had to pick it up. I need to find a few more and find a queen now. So let's go ahead and take a look at the packaging. So here we have the brood in the packaging, and very similar to what we usually get with the little Toy Biz stuff. Um, I couldn't get the sticker off. That sticker they put on there just wouldn't rip off, but eh, I'm going to take them out of the box anyway. It says, The Uncanny X-Men. It's from the Evil Mutants line, and then we get some artwork with the brood back there. Get a card inside. It's got the little Marvel Comics logo up in the corner, and it's from Toy Biz. So just kind of a close-up. Yeah, Uncanny X-Men, Evil Mutants. There's a logo. Love that old-school artwork. And then there's the old comic art of the brood in the back looking cool and it's from Toy Biz and it's the brood. So yeah, pretty cool. Uh, back to the packaging. Um, again, we get all the other figures in the line. Uh, it's got a big old write up on the brood, which we don't get anymore. Um, and that shows how the weapon attack works. So just kind of a close up. If you want to pause and read this, you are more than welcome to. And uh, there's the rest of it right there. And then, uh, yep, there's the weapon attack. And then here are all the other figures that you can collect. And I've got a few of these now. And I'll probably try to get the rest of them at some point uh, for retro reviews. If you guys like these, leave a comment down below and you want to see more. That's pretty much it for the packaging on the brood. Let's go ahead and get it out of box and see what we think. So here we have the brood out of the packaging, and I've got to say, this is a really cool figure, even though it's really old. Uh, we just, we don't have these figures anymore, and I really think this would be a fun build-a-figure in a Marvel Legends set. Uh, we just, I, I would like this, and I would like a brood queen. Um, again, if you don't know what this is, this is from uh, Marvel Comics, X-Men Comics, back in the day. It's Marvel's version of aliens. Essentially, these insect things would come from space, lay eggs into their victims, and they would hatch out and kill them, and the X-Men had to stop them. So yeah, it was kind of a ripoff, but they were really, really fun comics. Now, this figure is pretty decent sized for an old uh, Toy Biz figure, and uh, it's got some pretty decent articulation. Now, it does have a play gimmick where uh, you push the button right here, and uh, he flaps his little wings like that. Um, and he chomps his jaw. Nom, 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 So that into itself is pretty cool. Uh, it does have other articulation. Um, one, the head does turn like such. And the cool thing is the articulation, uh, or the play gimmick actually, still works uh, with the head spinning, I mean, all the way around. And that you don't see in action figures today. Um, and then his little arms also move up and down each little leg. Uh, also rotates and then his tail back here rotates as well. So yeah, definitely very cool and uh, uh, nice articulation for such an older toy. So taking a closer look at the figure itself, I think this thing is done really, really nice. I like the sculpt on it. The paint is kind of eh. He's kind of a baby crap green and brown, uh, but uh, the, they paint the gums the nice pink. It's got white. 
Um, I like the transparent wings on the figure, very insect-like. Uh, we do see the button for the play gimmick, but hey, I can forgive that. I mean, this figure's from the 90s, for goodness sakes. Um, the uh, weird thing about it, though, is on the top of the head, it's got this uh, kind of painted design, which um, is a bit weird. I, I know they had these kind of designs in the skull of the insect alien there, but this really just kind of looks like uh, some kind of biohazard tattoo, which is strange. Um, he's got all these little warts all over the body, which is nice. I definitely dig that. It could use some black wash to kind of uh, show off that detail a little bit more. Uh, but other than that, pretty darn good. I'm super impressed with the articulation on it. Although the body is a little heavy and the bottom legs, if you don't get them in the right spot, they will kind of come out from under them. They're just not as strong as the joints on those two big upper arm stick things. For comparison, here we have the brood next to another X-Men figure from that era of Toy Biz. It's Weapon X. And as you can see, this is a pretty decent sized toy. And uh, just for comparison, here it is with a Kenner Alien from that same era. And uh, I mean, it's pretty good sized. Uh, I really, really do like it. And, uh, you know, I, I think this would be a great figure to bring back in the Marvel Legends line. So is the Toy Biz Brood something that you want in your Marvel collection? Well, um, if you like the old school 80s X-Men, 80s to 90s X-Men comics, this is definitely something that uh, you would like, I think. If you like the old nostalgic Toy Biz figures, this is something cool. If you don't like that stuff, this is an easy pass. Um, I'm definitely into the old school Toy Biz figures, so this is very, very cool for my collection. And uh, again, I think this would be a great figure to have. Uh, I would like to see this either as a Build-A-Figure or as a figure unto itself and then get a Brood Queen as the Build-A-Figure in the wave. I think that would be really, really fun. But this is definitely something that's cool and uh, it's something that's kind of odd. Uh, it's not human shaped, so this will fit into a modern Marvel Legends uh, set. If you want to fudge it, just kind of put it in the background of your villains. Uh, it will work. Uh, the other cool thing is these are pretty cheap, so you can get a bunch of these and create a swarm and have them attacking your X-Men, which would look really, really cool. So there it is, the Brood from Toy Biz. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, thumbs it up. If you hate this video, thumbs it down. To watch more Ultra Maximus, click on the links to the right. Don't forget to subscribe and share, like us on Facebook, and look for more videos in the future.